Uh, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm here at Lincoln Tech in Grand Prairie, Texas. Boom! And uh, check this out. Today is a special day. All right. One of the teachers here, uh, Rick, he actually reached out to me over the weekend and told me about an amazing student. And a lot of you will know why. Because this young gentleman, he's 19 years old, he is autistic, and he is amazing. I'm here with Kyle. What's up, Kyle? Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, and the director of education, Rick. If you guys think Rick looks a little familiar, it's because he was in an episode where it was like five years ago, five right? Five years ago. Five years ago, I was actually doing an episode with the Spirit of Texas, drag boat, boom, and we came over here because every time I went someplace, I was like, where's the school that's legit, that's close by? They said Lincoln Tech. So through the years, we've had... Uh a lot of memorable students, a lot of great students. They have a, a lot of great stories, but there's always those students that really leave a mark on you. And the reason we got into education and Kyle Davis is one of those kids. Uh, first time I met him, he just uh, kind of lit up the room and he just told me how passionate he was uh, to do manufacturing. I, I guarantee you he outworks every kid in my program. Um, he's not going to be stopped by, by uh, any disabilities that he has. And he just has a great attitude. And he really just wants to work and learn and, and just uh, get in this really exciting field of manufacturing and just be successful. My cousin's dad just told me what a great uh, fan he was of, of Titan and how, how much he, he just watched all his videos. I just shot an email to, to Titan and just said, hey, I don't know if you remember me. You were here about five years ago. We shot a video here, but I got this really special kid named Kyle. If you can, give me a call sometime. And uh, man, Monday morning, here's Titan at my facility, talking to my students, saying hi to Kyle. Uh, just just giving back to the industry like he does and everything. As soon as I walked in, Kyle, you're just like, boom, what's going on, boom, <laughs> yeah. boom. And he's like, I wanna work for you, Titan. Big dream to come true to work with you because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this, to, my dream to come true and start a new chapter. You gotta speak things into existence and uh, you're putting a lot of work into machining and uh, how do you love it? Do you love machining? Yeah, always. I love it since I started since probably around March, since I started machining of this year before COVID hit. And then I just graduated in July and I was looking for a new, new college and I chose this for Lincoln Tech. And now here I am. Boom. Boom, Boom. right here. <laughs> so good. You know, one of the things that I love is that uh, your attitude. I heard like you even went out for hockey and a lot of people were like yeah not sure and then you went out there and went after it and then you were holding the, when you guys lost you were holding the team accountable telling people how they needed to improve and yeah. stuff you got that quality built into you right yeah. two-time champions been in the finals four straight times in my season that's awesome you think a lot of kids with autism they would do good in cnc machining yeah yeah you just gotta put the work in, right? Yeah, they always put the work in and they do their parts and do their jobs. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Love this guy. Yep. Boom. You know, a lot of people know my son Tyson, Asperger's growing up, a lot of people thought he wouldn't even uh, be able to drive a car. Not only does he drive a car, have a fiance, just bought a house, but he teaches CNC to the world and everybody loves him. He's the nicest guy, right? And my nine-year-old son, I got five kids, and my nine-year-old son, Nathaniel, he also has autism, right? But you know what? It is what it is. So now, let's break through the walls, let's break through the stereotypes, let's break through all of it to make sure that he has an amazing life. Sharing this story today was important because there is a million parents out there that are struggling having a child with autism. And I just want to inspire you. I want to speak into you. Break those walls. Don't take no for an answer because there is an amazing future for that child, for that young person, that for that adult. There's an amazing life for that individual. I've seen amazing programs through all industries. In our industry, CNC machining is great. You know what? It's on a computer. They're used to computers. It's repetitive. So they get used to the repetitive nature that aligns with a lot of people with autism and they're great with it where other people might get bored. And when it comes to inspection and how to do it, they're so critical about how to make everything so 
perfect and and to check every single part never to miss one right so there's a lot of things that people with autism will bring that work well in cnc machining in manufacturing another thing is when you're in manufacturing you're judged based on productivity one of the worst things that somebody with autism can have is low self-esteem is like is to feel like they're less than right but in in general i think that's for everybody in the world right if you're depressed if you feel like you're less than if you feel you know just anything bad about yourself it's not good right and it takes you into this crazy place where a lot of people with autism they have that feeling that they're less than that they're not accepted but guess what in cnc machining they can not only be accepted but they can be exceptional because this industry is perfect with their brain you can do amazing things so the last thing i want to say is i just want to let everybody know like if you know somebody that has autism, if you know parents that have an autistic child, please show them this video, show them some of the other videos that we've done, introduce them to the trades, introduce them to 3D printing, introduce them to making things. And you know what? It might not just come easy because it takes work on a daily basis, but once they get it, then they can run with it, right? Those with autism are worth fighting for. Autism is an epidemic. We need to get serious about it and we need to get serious about training programs to teach these individuals to get out of their houses and to actually make things so they can gain confidence and they can make real money to take care of themselves. Boom. I love you guys. Titans of CNC right here in Texas. Lincoln Tech, Grand Prairie. Boom. See you guys later.